back to my channel so I'm carrying on with my makeup collection and I thought I would just jump into the palettes because that's probably the most exciting thing hold on one minute oh it's stuck to my lip I look a riot I'm very much aware of that but I don't know what this is or whether it's just three random spots that have become under my eye but they're so itchy it's so annoying so I don't want to put any makeup on and irritate them so, as I say, this is probably going to be a long video. I don't know if I'll end up having to do it in two parts, but we're going to start anyway. I don't think I'll swatch anything because it's just going to take too long. And I'm doing it in no particular order. So, the first palette I have is the Smoke Sessions by Melt Cosmetics. This is the second one I have because the first one that I got a couple of years ago, it came absolutely shattered. So... It's quite an easy palette to shatter, but this is it. And as you can see, it is well loved. I particularly love these three shades, of course. But yes, this is the palette. So that's Melt Cosmetics. The next one I got, the majority of the palettes that I have are actually like gifts, either birthdays, Christmases, anniversary presents, stuff like that. Some of them I have bought myself. For example, I bought this one myself. I don't really need to tell you that though, do I? But anyway. Then we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Carly Bible palette. Oh, go on. Eyelash. This is what this one looks like. I'm not a massive fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills in general, to be honest. I find her brand isn't that exciting to me, but I do really like the tones of this. I got this as a birthday present last year, and I do like the tones in this, but it makes such a goddamn mess. They're so messy. Then I have the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. I love this. It is so nice. I hummed and hawed about getting this palette and then I gave in and I got it. And I don't regret it. And this is what it looks like. So it's got four sort of matte shades. Well, not really. These two are matte. These are, I don't know, kind of satiny formula. And then you've got your gorgeous shades here. What does it say about this one? It doesn't tell me. But it's 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 absolutely gorgeous palette. And it's got this big mirror as well. So there's that one. I have this random palette. This is the Mood Struck Ad Addiction Anniversary Palette by the brand Unique. And I got this at Christmas last year. And this is what it looks like. This is very much out of my comfort zone. So it's like dark based shadows that have like the glitters through them. And then you've got this matte shade and then this kind of satin shade. I will admit I've only used it like twice, but I have that one. Then I have this one from She Glam, which is Shein's beauty brand. And this is the Perceptive Pisces palette. And again, I've done looks on every single palette that I own, but it's over on the original Gingerbread Girl that I can't get into. So I will redo things. But this palette is gorgeous. Now, I am a Pisces, not a Pisces, I'm not a Pisces. Oh my God, I haven't filmed in a couple of days. My brain's all over the place. I am not a Pisces is what I meant to say. Yes, I'm a Sagittarius, but I liked the colours in this one. And I do like the colours of the Sagittarian palette, which are lilacs. But I think it's so bizarre that the colour choices, but there you go. I have this NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. Now, I was kindly sent, which I'll get to, the big, huge one of this. So it's got these shades in it and, like, much more. So I probably will declutter this at some point because I don't need the both of them. But I initially got this with my boots points. I, I think it's either 14 or 16 pound. But then I'm part of the NYX Makeup Addict um, 
app thing and they went and randomly sent me the 35 palette so yes then I have this tartlet toasted palette which I got a couple of Christmases ago and I most definitely have had it more than 12 months but it's absolutely nothing wrong with it it doesn't irritate my eyes when I use it it still smells fine because it smells like mini eggs I think the tart products oh and it is absolutely gorgeous and of course it is you could use it anytime you want but I think it's more for the autumn the winter months which we're coming into or if you're into these kind of shades on the daily but yeah I really love this palette as I say I got that as a Christmas gift <sighs> then there was also a voucher in with that to get 15% off so I went and bought the Tarte Bloom Palette, Tartlet Bloom Palette. This one I don't love as much. Still smells divine. There's not enough shimmers in it for my liking, but as you can see, I've used these ones as more like a liner, but it is a very nice sort of everyday palette. I think this palette would be perfect for somebody who isn't into a lot of colour and just loves these neutral kind of tones. Like I could imagine my friend Laura loving this palette. And I can imagine my friend Emily loving it as well. So the Tartlet in Bloom palette. <clears throat> I've just had my dinner. My throat's so dry. Then the only NARS palette I have is this. And I've gone off it. So I think this is another one that I'll possibly declutter at some point. This is the Afterglow palette. There's nothing wrong with it. But I just... I think it was an impulse buy and I don't really reach for it but again it's got these tones and then just this mad pop of pink in it there but yeah there is that palette another one that was an impulse buy and I never reach for is this Pat McGrath one this is the golden opulence one I hate the packaging I hate it but I got it brand new from Depop, eh, not Depop, eBay actually and at first I was sceptical, I'm like am I going to get scammed here but it is the real deal but it fo look at the state of the packaging, like it was falling apart and the shadows are okay, they don't blow me away but I hardly ever reach for this but again when I was doing my makeup course in 2020 our lecturer, he was like have you tried Pat McGrath? you have to try it it's amazing and I was just like so bloody expensive but I saw that on there and I got that and I've got one other one which I got in the Black Friday sale in 2020. <clears throat> I got this one for a Christmas and this is the Fenty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. If I can get open to show you. This is what it looks like here Again, it's nice enough. I have used it a couple of times. As I say, I do a shop my stash. You know, I've got my little makeup bag. I go through and swap things around. My favourite shades <clears throat> in here, though, are these two here. I could quite happily leave this side of the palette. But yeah, that is that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I have this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is the Shade and Light Glimmer Eye Contour Palette. Now, I bought this with money that my late father gave me. So it's kind of sentimental in that sense. I do still use it and it still works perfectly fine. So you've got your three big shadows at the top there. And then you've got these tones. Again, this would be great for someone that doesn't wear a lot of colour on their eyes but then you've got the black if you want to make it a bit smokier and like a sort of um, bronzy shade as well then I have another one by KVD Vegan Beauty that I got for Christmas this is the Edge of Reality eyeshadow palette <clears throat> and this is what it looks like and it is absolutely stunning I've heard so many mixed reviews on this so you've got all your mattes at this side and then you've got all these gorgeous tones at this side and I absolutely love it and this is fully recyclable you can take this out when you're done with it and put the whole thing into the recycling 
but as I say, it's had mixed reviews, but I think it's amazing. I love it. Ooh. So there's that one. Then we have the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. I bought this on Depop brand new when it came out. I don't know when it came out and I've had it longer than 24 months, but yet again, it performs perfectly well. This is what it looks like. It is beautiful. I absolutely love the shade Bucked down here and I love this shade as well. There, and I don't normally go for mattes, but this is such a stunning palette. And as I say, unless it completely dries out or anything, it ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> this was an impulse buy and one that I do kind of regret, but I have used it as you will see. This is the Too Faced Born This Way The Natural Nudes, which every man and their wife has gone mad for. Um, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has been used, but mostly these three shimmers. And that one actually smashed. But I just find it so boring. It's just such a boring palette. But there you go. And then I have the P. Louise Stack Em Up Back Yourself palette, which I got recently, which you will see, have seen in my P. Louise haul video. So this is the orange toned one. So this is that. And then in that same haul, I got another one of the Stack Em Ups. And this is called Health is Wealth. And this is the little green one. And I haven't actually used this yet. So there will be a video on that. I really wanted to do makeup this week. I was so motivated to. And then this thing came up under my eye and it's just been so annoying. And as I say, I don't know what it is or what's caused it. So I don't want to irritate it more. Then I have another stack of up. This is Talk is Cheap. And I got this for my birthday last year from my friend Mel. And I love this shade. I just think with these three palettes, there needs to be four shimmer and four matte instead of two shimmer and the rest matte, personally. Then I have got my beloved gingerbread palettes by Too Faced. So this is the gingerbread spice. Of course I had to get it. I'm gingerbread girl. I'm gingerbread obsessed and I just love it. I do not think it smells like gingerbread though. I just think it smells like sweet cakes or cookies or something. And I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> the colour story doesn't really speak to me. But I just knew that I had to have it. I had to have it. I have used it. I don't reach for it a lot. Probably my most used is the spiked eggnog. Which is like the shimmery one. And I've nearly put a dent in these ones so I do use them as I say I dip in and out but I do tend to not reach for these until the autumn and winter months and then of course I had to pick up the extra spicy and it's got the gingerbread man and girl this one I haven't used a lot oh, it smells so good but I definitely need to get more use out of it and I will never get rid of these I never thought I'd be one of those people that just kept something because of the way it looks. But I, when these are done, like when I know that I can't use them on my eyes and I they're dried out or whatever, I am keeping these purely for the packaging because they are absolutely beautiful. But this is this one. It almost looks like I haven't touched it at all. I promise you I have used it. Particularly from the Graham and soft and sweet and this one lick the spoon so they'll need to be get weaked out soon enough since it's september tomorrow and then i was gifted this palette not for a birthday or whatever but just a random generous gift this is the naked urban decay honey palette and it is all the lovely yellowy tones i don't have any other palette that's just these tones again i have used it i haven't used it a shit ton but i have definitely used it and i will definitely be dipping into that and then of course another palette when it came out i was like i need it don't i is the urban decay naked wild west now i'm going to confess 
this palette was hyped up more than it needed to be and the reason of course I majorly wanted it was for that green which is sad I know there's something in my tooth annoying me but yes this was an anniversary gift and believe it or not I do like the shade bud which is the green but I really love this shade here is it called Laredo Laredo Cowboy Rick and Hold'em are really nice as well, but they are more of a topper shade. And then Standoff and these ones down here. But what I like to do with these palettes is use a setting spray and use them as liners because it's amazing. If you haven't watched the YouTuber and makeup artist Danielle Roberts, she always does that trick and she used to work for it when it came. Then my current most favourite Huda Beauty palette is the Retrograde, why can't I speak? Mercury Retrograde, I'll try to say it back to front. I love this palette, it's been used to death. I even did my friend Kirsty's makeup with it a few months ago. It's just absolutely stunning. As you can see, it's well loved. I just absolutely adore it. And again, I will use this palette for as long as possible. I love it. I'm actually waiting on another Huda palette coming from Depop because of this goddamn postal strike. It's taken ages so it better arrive. Then the one and only Natasha Denona palette I have is this one called the Glam palette and I was gifted this by the lovely YouTuber Cheryl at What's For Tea. She just messaged me one day and said that uh, she would like to gift me a Christmas present, just a little Christmas present, it wasn't at all. The video again is over on my original Gingerbread channel and this was one of the many items and I am ever, ever grateful even to this day. So thank you Cheryl if you're watching. And this is the Gorgeous Gorgeous Shadows and I was using these last week in my shop, my stash. They are absolutely beautiful. I also think this is a great palette if you can afford it. For someone that's starting out and doesn't really know exactly what to do or where to place it because it's got centre eyelid, outer lid, inner corner, crease, transition, brow bone etc. So it's good for you to follow along while maybe watching a tutorial. And then we have got the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I, I don't love this palette. I, I don't know why. The main thing I love is this green here. If I'm honest, this is another palette that I'm just really not that fussed about. It's not even that it's a bad palette, but it's just not one that I'm like, ugh, I'll use that. Like, even when it comes to short moustache, I'm not that fussed. But we have that one. I'm trying not to make a mess here. And then the last one in this box... I also got for Christmas is the Morphe and Coca-Cola 1971 palette and it's never one that I would have thought to have got myself but this is it and again when I did a look with this on the original Gingerbread Get Hulk channel the views that I got on it were mental I wasn't expecting it but obviously people loved it so it's got your neutrals then you've got your pops of colour as well so that is everything that is in this first box. We're at 18 just now. So I might do a couple more on this video and then we'll go into the rest. Because that was this box. This is just like a sh box that came with Christmas pyjamas in it last year. So we'll show you a couple more, will we? I'll show you my Juvie's Place palettes. So I've got the Nubian 3 Coral palette. Again, I got this from Depop. I love buying from Depop. And it was brand new when I got it, but I've obviously used it. Again, being truthful with you, it is not my favourite palette out of the juvious ones that I have. And I have a couple of times put this on Depop to sell it and then taken it back off again because I'm like, mm, it's okay. It's not my favourite. But there's that one. Then I have got the Topes palette. I also think my friend Emily would absolutely love this palette. I could see her using these tones. It is lovely. 
and then I picked up the Violets palette. These are stunning as well. Someone the other day was saying that once you're out of your 30s, you should stop using coloured makeup. Well, I'm 39 this year and I'm not going to stop wearing colourful makeup. And then we have the Rebel Army palette. I got this one on Depop and these two from oh, this might be the other, Beauty Boxes by Tammy. And I got this one in Superdrug. So this is the Rebel Army palette and of course it's green and I had to have it. Love it. Right, I'll show you these ones and then we'll leave it at that. I have the two, hold on a moment. There is a palette missing. Oh, <laughs> I knew there was another palette in that big box. This is Makeup with Rising Phoenix and I was very lucky over on the original channel to get PR from them twice. They are sisters that are in Singapore and they make all their own beautiful stunning shadows. Just look at that. They're absolutely bloody gorgeous. Unfortunately, due to COVID and other things, it's not feasible for them to send PR anymore at the moment anyway to the UK. I still keep in contact with the ladies and they're really lovely. But yeah, there was that palette. Because I, I was about to say that's the only indie ones I've got, the ones I'm going to show you, but obviously that's an indie brand. But I was fortunate enough to have some disposable income at one point last year that I could use and I bought some Lethal Cosmetics. They are a German brand, they're based in Berlin, and I never got any custom charges or anything, and it came so quickly. So I made up this little palette with these gorgeous shadows, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And then I got one of their bigger palettes. Are you ready to see this? It's the palette dreams. I know I've got these random ones here because like it's just the way it all worked out. This is the only matte one I got because I just loved the colour of it. But oh my god, look at these teals and greens. Do they not just give you the feels and shout that's a palette for Julie because oh, I love it so much. So there's those ones. Then I have the original Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette which I got for my birthday from Laura last year. It was a lovely surprise. Unfortunately, this one up here came a bit smashed. I've pressed it in, so I'm trying to show you the best I can. And it is lovely. And believe it or not, that's one of my favourite ones. It's just typical, isn't it? But it's such a stunning, stunning palette. And again, I will always keep this because it was a gift. And also this artwork is immense. And I can't wait for the second film. I think it's October it's out. Then I got... The Beauty Bay Earthy palette, this is the 16 palette one. I got this because I sold some stuff and I got this when it came out. So this is what it looks like. It's got the gorgeous greens and pops of sort of bronze and gold because those are the kind of colours that go well together. And I picked up the Midnight one. I didn't get the berries because I am not into red and pinky toned shadows on me. But I do love me a bit of lilac and purple, so I got this as well. So it's got the lilac and purples and the blues. I don't know if that is a true black. Yeah, I think it is. But yeah, I got that. And then another one that I got for another anniversary was the Wilderness palette. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I need this in my life. And then it turned up. I love it. I never use this because these are not a bit of me at all. But the rest of it, I just love. These colours are a bit random to me. I don't know. But yeah, I love it. Obviously, these two are my favourites and I love this one. But yeah. So I'm going to leave that there for this part of the video and there will end up being a part two, which I'll probably stop now and film that and then it's just all done. So you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next load, upload. I'll see you next time. <laughs>